Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to do this super sick effect that you guys saw in the intro. Let's waste no time and let's get straight into it. Alright, first you want to start off with your um already time remap clip. You can see I already have it going in and then speed up. Very simple. I've already done a million tutorials on the velocity and time remap and all of that. So if you want to know how to do that, go watch my other tutorials. But to start off with the effect, you want to go um, on a frame, the frame where you want to zoom in. So for me, it's right here. This is where I want my character to zoom in at. And you want to duplicate, control D, and then control shift D to split the clip. So you just have this little overhang right here. You want to right click on this. You might have to pre-compose it. That's fine. Just pre-compose if you have to if not freeze frame and if you see if I hide this layer now it's just frozen there. And then you want to just uh, adjust your clips to the duration of your so basically to where you want to see so just like that and it freezes and then it goes straight into your clip so you see it's kind of smooth right there. and once you have your freeze frame in the duration that you want you want to duplicate it pre-compose just like that Open your pre-composed clip and you want to use your rudder brush tool to start keying out your character. Just like this using this tool up here. Just want to start making strokes. Just like this. I've done this in my first tutorial. If you want to learn more about it, go watch that. But I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, quick tip. If you want to get rid of something like that, like where it's not your character, you want to hold ball and you'll see your thing turns red and you should make a stroke there and it gets rid of it. Alright, once you have your character fully keyed out, you want to make sure right here that your thing goes all the way across your thing, right here. So it goes all throughout. Just extend it right here. Make sure you push it all the way. And you want to freeze it which pretty much just locks your rotor brush in place and once you freeze it you'll see that your rotor brush is out but it looks really rough around the edges so just want to mess around with your settings here with the feather and your contrast and maybe a little bit of the shift edge once you get something you're happy with you can go back to your original composition and you'll see that nothing really changed but if you hide the background layer there's your character popping out. So now you can put in the overlay that I will provide in the description. It's just a very simple paper overlay. And to remove the black background, all you gotta do is toggle switch in modes right here, go right here, and turn to the screen. But I kinda made the overlay so it should fit like any situation with your character. Um, so hopefully it adjusts to your clip. But if it doesn't, you can use whatever other paper overlay or make your own or whatever. But this is the one I will be providing that I made myself. Alright, now once you have the paper overlay on there, you can add this preset that just kind of makes it look better and makes your character and the overlay look better. The only thing I'm going to recommend is maybe turning the glow down a little bit or taking it off altogether for the paper because I think it looks more clean that way. As you could see, that looks pretty nice so far. Also, I forgot to mention that I will not be teaching you how to do the paper text because that might just take too long. And also, it's pretty much the same concept of this, but easier. And there's also a lot of other tutorials on how to do that. So, yeah. Once you put my preset on, you can go ahead up here to layer, new, adjustment layer. And you want to add my second preset, which is the character zoom in. And this just makes everything look a lot better. Now as you can see this preset is pretty much made for this clip. But if your character is somewhere else, let's say it's somewhere over here, then all you gotta do is change your center. Center XY right here and you can just adjust it and it's the same thing. 
just zooms into different points. So this is very versatile and hopefully it, it works well for all of you guys. Alright, then once you add my preset, you can just chop off the bits that you don't need. And also, you might need to adjust the keyframe just a little bit. It's completely fine. All you gotta do is drag these four keyframes right here over to the point that you want. So for me, that's about... Right here, I'd say. Just like that. So it's very adjustable, very easy to use. Now you can also see in the main effect that the background looks like a little different, maybe a little more cool. So I also added a preset for that, which you can just add to the very bottom layer. It is a pencil sketch background. And the keyframes should be set for you because they're pretty simple. It just, just like that. You can see the background looks all pencil sketched and stuff. Very cool. Alright, and then once you have that done, all you gotta do is add your impact on, which I'm just gonna be using my yellow rays impact that I already put in my other video. And just like that, your effect is done. If you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful, I would really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and left a comment. Also, you can follow my Instagram and Twitter where I post teasers and I ask for feedback on my new tutorials that are going to come on in the future so if you want to get sneak peeks and stuff like that make sure to follow me but anyways i'll catch you guys later let's pray keep them as away on a daily basis bring the place tap them in his face he said i look like satan